Hi folks, <clears throat> um, welcome to this um, tutorial, first tutorial of um, using AppShed. Um, just going to use the very basic functions of AppShed, um, but it will give you an idea how easy it actually is to create a web app uh, using this, uh, this website, which is fantastic by the way. So first things first, um, this is a, the, the free version. Um, I haven't signed up for the paid version yet, but um, I'm sure that will come in time. You have your mobile device here. You can change it. Um, so I could change it to an iPad. So it basically formats the app that you create depending very much on what device you've decided you want to design it on. Uh, at the end of the day, it's a web app, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to work on, on, on any of these devices. Um, or if I had a smartphone, a tablet with a with a browser. So I'm going to choose iPhone 5 because I got one of them. And I'm going to click down here, new app. And here we go. So we can give it a name. And what I've decided to do is I'm just going to quickly put together a movie app. So I'm just going to call it Movies Original, I know. So down here you can add a description. Um, this... Um, So you want to be a little bit more creative when it comes to that. You can choose a category. So I'm just going to choose fun. Now down here, you can choose an icon. So that is the icon that appears on the front of your phone, the little app icon essentially. Now you could, if you wanted to, create your own um, in Fireworks or Photoshop or Illustrator, or whatever it is you wanted to do. Or, depending on time, you could find one on the internet. Now, I've been using Icon Archive. There are, as you can see, hundreds of thousands of different icons available. Some are free to use, some are free for you to use for commercial use, um, and some you're going to have to pay for. So you need to be aware that if you're going to design an app that you intend to sell or put on the App Store, you need to check the licensing for that app. So, I'm going to choose Movies down here. And there we go. I'm going to choose this icon there. Again, check the licensing. And you've got all sorts of different sizes. So I would choose this one, 128 by 128. Click on it, right click, save it in your documents. Now, so I can, once that's saved, browse or upload, whatever I decide to do. But I've actually uploaded it already. So here we go. There's my icon. Click on that. Click select and then you're good to go. You can also upload a splash screen here and some of my kids have created really nice splash screens um, themselves or they've managed to take a photo to use um, you know so you can change that as well. Now at the top you can change the style of your app. Now you might not want to do this straight away, you might want to start creating your app and then go ahead and you know, do the styles then. But you know, you can click in here. You can change all the different colours for um, the text colour. Um, you can change formats each sort of screen, which we'll go into later. Um, and I'm not going to go through this yet, but it's really good fun just to play around with it. And of course, you've got the advanced tag there, where you can do some custom CSS or some JavaScript if you want to, if you've got the time, and if you want to do that sort of programming, um, programming aspect of it as well. So there we go, so name, movie, description, I'm not going to do a splash screen yet, um, but you can if you want, and then click save, and then we're good to go. Um, you can of course click that home button, and there's my app as it would appear on my phone. So to get back into it, I can click on that, click open app, and we're good to go. 